little quick video just to go through all the bits that I've got to build one of these Pico Ness emulators. I'll put the link in the description for all the information about this, but I've got a couple of Super NES controller connectors, um, original NES connector, get a bunch of these pins, the other bits that you buy, HDMI connector, that's from Adafruit, SD card connector, that's from Adafruit as well, just picked up one of these little switches. the standard Raspberry Pico and then I used the Gerbers that were on the github page I think somebody else had already uh, done these uh, who was it can I read that uh, uh, maybe not this was John Park 2023 thanks John really good So I liked it so much. I was originally using my NES controller. Uh, went on eBay, picked up some of these original controllers. Now this board is only for one player, but yeah, there's only me interested in playing it. And I'll just get my uh, 3D printed version for you to have a look at as well. So these are the bits that are 3D printed. This is the bottom. This goes on the top, and there's this little piece here to actuate the switch. Here's the board all soldered up. It's pretty easy to put together, to be honest. And this just fits in here. And put this uh, switch in there. This goes on top. And then just got some screws to hold it all together. Looks pretty cool. USB power, that's where the SD card goes. S controller, HDMI. Yeah, I so really recommend you trying this. It's a really good project. Pretty easy to get going. Software is brilliant. And uh, yeah, get to play some retro games. Nice 8 bit gaming, it's brilliant.